my Eeyore pyjamas, but I've just got my Asda online delivery, so I thought I'd share with you what I bought, considering it's the start of my shred. So to start, I really like this. It's sparkling pineapple coconut water. It's Asda own brand, and um, it's just really nice. It's like 0.3 grams of carbs per 250 ml. But you have to check these things. Um, some of the sparkling waters, we got, I got Alex to get me a bottle before. I asked him to get me this, and he got me pineapple oh, coconut. Box. I asked him to get me pineapple coconut uh, water, and he got me a Volvic one, and it had five grams of carbs per hundred. I was like, eh, I can't drink this. So just be careful. Um, but this really good, and it's four for a pound. Hey. My basil, because I like to add basil to my veg when I'm oven baking them. And then it's just for convenience because I don't like peeling a mashed potato. And we got the Asda own brand mash and the macros are crazy on it. It's like 10 grams per 100 um, of carbs and 1.8 grams of fat. So it's really good for just for feeding legs. Because I'm not going to be standing there mashing potatoes. Cause they're really nice actually because I don't really like red potatoes very good. And then I've got my toy sheets. So I roast them up with my, oh, I love these roasted, the printed peppers, they're like really sweet or something, I don't know. Uh, got my garlic, oh, they're a bit stingy. Well, garlic, I roast them too, I just eat them roasted, they're so good. Uh, I got kidney beans for making chilli. I have cherry tomatoes, and I got them sandwiches and stuff, salads. Um, chopped uh, chopped tomatoes with chilli, so that would be for when I make my chilli. Uh, this is a bit of a, a treat for me. It's like a, a sparkling drink, um, it's 8% alcohol. Uh, it's just nice and light for if we have people over. And obviously won't be dr drinking too much in my prep, but if I am drinking I'll have something I enjoy and I enjoy this. I really like this, it's like um, raspberry and cranberry and it's just a lovely cordial. Uh, to be honest, a little bit more expensive, but and per hundred ml is 1.8 grams of carbs. Then we get onto uh, cucumber for my salads as well. Uh, we got this for Lex, it's fruit and fiber. I've decided to stop getting the chocolatey cereals. I was getting them ones that were like um, one was called like jungle something or other, jungle bites, and they were really good, but. I was getting too tempted by them, so um, I said, Lex, we're only having fruit and fibre and high fibre bran in the house. He's like, that's fine, I'm happy with that. So, yeah, fruit and fibre. And it's just high carb, low fat. Um, and then we get into all the bready kind of things. So, uh, if you're on a gluten free diet and you're not allergic to gluten, um, why are you not eating this? Bergen bread is amazing. This is the mini Bergen bread, so it's the 400 gram loaf and uh, per slice it's quite fatty it's probably because of all the seeds so it'll be good fats uh, but it's 3.3 grams of fat 9 grams of carbs and um, 4.5 grams of protein and also 3 grams of fiber so that's quite good it's healthy bread i use these whole meal sandwich things you've seen them in my videos i'm gonna put it in the freezer and then i just pop them in the toaster but well, per thin, it's uh, 16.9 grams of carbs and only 1.5 grams of fat. So it's quite a good um, you know, lunchtime snack kind of thing. It's all over them yesterday. These are the best new invention ever. I like bagels. I love cinnamon rings and bagels. I don't like the mini ones, but I like these thins because it feels like you're eating a full bagel. And instead of having 45 grams of carbs, it was 25. So I'll be definitely fitting them in. I've been using them pre-workout. Brilliant. Uh, next size crumpets. So I have crumpets and they're crumpet thins. So they're only 0.3 grams of fat and 10 grams of carbs each. So I'd say you'll be nom nom in there later. And oh, I appear to have gotten uh, other ones as well. So these are the 50-50, um, so it's like half, about half brown bread, and uh, they're 17 grams of carbs, so it's still quite good. They'll be it. And these are actually quite good. Uh, the burger things, they're 20 grams of carbs, instead of like, you know your burger buns? Well, they're like a proper burger bun, because they have that squidgyness. 
So yeah, again, I'll stick them in the freezer and it's great for when I make my chicken burgers or my horse burgers. Here's uh, what I was eating yesterday, my snack. So it's six pack, sweet and uh, sweet and salty popcorn. They're so good. So three grams fat and 10 grams carbs. And here's um, what in my prep I always eat intra workout, my OT bars. Yeah. And they're actually quite, you know, some of the cereal bars, you look at them and they look big, and then you go like that, and they're like, eh. These are actually quite big. So I like the Toffee Dazzler ones. And they're 1.5 grams of fat and 13 grams carbs, so it's a good, good choice for an intro workout. Um, next, probably four of them or something, so I'll be hiding them from him. Um, I'd also ordered the caramel rice cakes, but they didn't have them because I always do no substitutes on my orders because otherwise they'll give me like fatty things and I've actually complained to them about like doing substitutes when I ask for no substitutes. So instead they just don't give me anything. And uh, this is salt and vinegar. But I'd ordered caramel ones as well and the good encounter ones are quite good because they're lower in carb. Some of the snacky jacks are like, I think they can be up to 10 grams of carbs, whereas these are like um, seven, which is better. Uh, it's the ham I use because I've done a lot of um, checking of labels and stuff for ham because I bought one that's low fat and lower sodium and uh, so these are per hundred now mostly in a sandwich you're going to have about 40 grams so about half that and uh, so it'll be like 2.7 grams of fat and 2.1 grams of carbs and 21 grams of protein so that's per hundred so half of that then Roxy, will you stop whinging? Do you want me in the video? Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? She's whinging because she hasn't had her breakfast because Mammy decided to do the shopping instead. Yeah. And Bailey's just rolling around on the ground like an idiot. Oh, oh. Say hello. Hello. Hello, YouTube. Mammy didn't get me anything on the order. I looked in all the bags. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, they, they really don't have to do with the deliveries at all. Uh, so I got some yogurts as well for Lex, which I didn't really get enough and I to get more. Um, I got him his Weight Watchers Lair from Ashfrey. I would eat them as well, but he eats them like by, like two at a time, so they're usually gone. Uh, but again, no fat and six grams of carbs, so they're good. Good little snack. Oxy weight. And this is my fat-free Greek yogurt, which I either add flavouring to or just eat on its own and things. And it's just brilliant because it's zero fat and four grams carbs and nine grams of protein. So people are looking for a protein source. This is it. This is your nine grams of protein here. Ooh, got my unsweetened almond milk. And then I got my rocket that you saw me having yesterday at my lunch. I like that my sandwiches and my burgers. Then we got frozen raspberries. Again, uh, per 100, it's zero fat and 4.6 grams carbs, 2.5 grams of fiber. So there you are, good fiber source. You put in 100 grams of that, get it into you. And let's go through my other veggies. So I've got my pre chopped. Red onion, my asparagus. I like these asparagus because they're a nice size, don't you get from Asda? So, they're the asparagus tips. I had them in my stir fry last night, which was quite nice, which was spicy. Um, my sliced mushrooms, again, because I'm lazy. If you want to buy regular mushrooms, go ahead. I am a lazy bum. And spinach because good uh, source of fibre and um, vitamins and minerals so you're going to be getting your folic acid in there for the ladies um, strawberries because they're so fresh it's huge I love strawberries yum I hope I don't get hives I literally get hives when I eat them and what else do I have oh nearly missed this this is like my little treat to myself when I'm on a cut, it's um, I don't know if you have it in, in the US, but you'll have chocolate fillies. Just check the back of them because it doesn't say that they're low fat or anything, but like 
the macros on it, like it's 13 grams of fat and 35 grams carbs per 100. You probably only gonna put 10 grams on like a little rice cake. So that's only like 1.3 grams of fat and three, three grams of carbs. So it's worth a little investment. It's like not the biggest cheat in the world. And you can have it pre-workout or after your dinner or just if you're craving chocolate, just a little bit on a caramel rice cake. Ooh, am I tempting you? Okay, it's coffee time for me. As I can see, I'm still in my PJs. Um, I didn't weigh myself yet because I was concerned that I woke up at nine o'clock and I'd ordered the delivery between eight and 10 and I was like, no, I missed the food, but I hadn't. Um, so I better feed these dogs, feed myself, get Lex up, feed him, and start the day. I'll talk to you later. Just getting ready to head to the gym. and I'm going to have one of my little cinnamon raisin thins with 10 grams of the chocolate filly. Then I will get my bag ready for the gym and I'll show you what I'm bringing with me. So I'm just getting my stuff ready for the gym. I have my big bottle of water. Um, we're gonna, looking at getting these made for me maybe because they're pretty nifty. Um, I have my Umoro shaker and I'm using 100 ml oh no 300 ml of water and into this this is for my post workout so I'm going to add about 15 grams or 15 to 20 grams of the Isaac Pro 97 I'm going for the chocolate coconut that's my favorite flavor and uh, I'm also going to add some a uh, scoop of L-glutamine to help um, reduce those cortisol levels and help with repair and recovery then into my big bottle for my intro workout, I'm going to be having the raspberry lemonade BCAs from my protein. Quite like that. And I usually add some flavor drops. So either uh, at the moment, I think I'm going to have the strawberry watermelon, but I'm quite liking the um, Oasis raspberry lemonade. And I'll drink that entire bottle during my workout. And I've just realized that my um, little iPod shuffle is not charged because it ran out of battery yesterday so i have that charging at the moment just to get enough juice to for my hour and a half workout otherwise i'll be on the iphone and i've got my dr dre beats and these are like graffitiized one i don't know is that the right word but they're kind of funky unique ones that i got on ebay so i don't know they're limited edition i quite like them they look they kind of go with all my outfits so and then I just washed my gloves because they were starting to stink and uh, they're from my protein and um, I spilt uh, a bottle all over my bag so they needed to be washed they were stinking and then because my workouts have gotten so sweaty and intense I now have to bring a towel to the gym because I'm disgusting uh, I'm also going to take some of these Thermopure from uh, my protein they've got like a lot of B vitamins, caffeine, green tea extract just kind of I suppose increase the fat burning during my workout but i'm just going to add all this in here so i've just arrived at the gym uh, everything prepped and ready as i said before i've kind of changed up my routine and i'm currently writing it up so as i go i'm writing it up so that i can share it with you guys um so today is my second week in the rotation and um, I'm going to be doing high volume, so that's eight by eights, so that's eight sets for eight reps in supersets, so it's three different supersets, and I'm doing a lower body. So the way I've split it up is over five days, and there's three leg days and two upper body days. So it's pretty tough, it's tiring, and next week I'm kind of going to bring the volume down and the weight back up a bit for kind of a... A recoup week as I'll call it um, but yeah I'm enjoying it it's killing me and hopefully I'll see changes because I feel like my legs really I'm just frustrated at this stage I need to change them they grow muscle quite quickly but they don't seem to um, get shredded like my upper body does so I'll record it and I hope you enjoy it I'll put some tunes over it and um, if there's nothing else you want me to record and um, let me know 
in the comments below. Um, so my current outfit is the um, what I like to call the Expo uh, vest because for a whole six months these vests were only on sale at the Expos but now you can buy them online and the green one's definitely my favourite. To be honest, I'm sorry Kat, I think I stole your one because I have two, two green ones. So I'll have to give Kat back one of her green ones. Um, my leggings, which are psychedelic, are from my protein. Um, I think they're called uh, Pro Skin or something, which I've encountered before in dancewear. So they're nice. They, Lex has informed me that they go a bit see-through when um, I squat, but that doesn't really bother me. Um, it bothers him more than it bothers me. And um, my trainers are Nikes, so you'll see them in the videos. These are my favourite trainers, Lex got them for me for Christmas. I don't know where he got them, I think it was eBay or something because that's where we get most of our trainers. Um, we have these Wicked new sunglasses which are from um, Swole Panda and this, like the handles are made from bamboo and I think they're really cool. And then I've got this nifty little hairband and it has like you know that kind of grippy rubber so uh, um, it doesn't really move. Like, you know, when I wear hairbands normally, they fall off my head. I don't know. I don't, my head isn't made for hairbands. But yeah, it keeps my hair off my face because I have a bit of a, a fringe going on at the moment. So to keep the hair off my face, I have this. And you will see I'll be bright red and extremely sweaty by the end of this workout. So apologies in advance if you're disgusted by my sweatiness, but just think of it as fat crying. The fat is crying because I need to get shredded. Oh, update on my weight as well. When I first started two days ago, I said to you that I was up on the scales. Um, I was expecting to be 123 and I was 126. But today I'm back down to 123. So whatever it was that was causing me, I don't know whether it was because I had a cold or what it was, but um, I'm back down to 123. So back down to kind of my starting point. So I still expect to probably drop another two pounds this week because it is my first week and you usually will see a kind of a big drop in your first week especially if you haven't been eating great which i haven't been so you'll see kind of like water redistribution and everything um and then i'll probably start evening out and i'll be looking to drop about a pound a week after that uh, some weeks you'll drop more some weeks you won't drop at all so don't freak out and um enjoy my workout and my sweaty self
a lot of my PCA and water and um, to be honest because I was setting up the camera and stuff I kind of forgot to drink usually I drink in between each set so I'll finish this now and time to use my Umora shaker so just as a little button and I have to say not being biased or anything um, but these shakers really good no leaks completely waterproof um, holds a scoop of protein on my glutamine, maybe two scoops, I only ever put one in and yeah just really nice shaker for a shaker like how can you get a shaker wrong but you can, you can get them wrong but you see there's a little ball inside as well so it mixes all up the only thing is because I've got nails I'm always afraid to press the button too hard in case my nail breaks but here we go and it's chocolate coconut which will slightly mask disgusting glutamine taste and I got it with my towel with me and I didn't put makeup on because the other day I came in oh I look so pretty with my makeup on and I had like panda eyes right now like, uh, yeah as you can see it's an intense workout it took me it was quicker than last week because I knew what I was doing last week I was kind of trying to put it together and do it whereas this week I kind of was focused on what I was doing and knew what exercise I was doing and putting together. So I'm kind of trying to do kind of more um, compound exercise followed by isolated exercise because apparently the compound exercise can tire up the muscle. So then when you're doing the isolated one, you have to really concentrate on the mind to muscle and it's more effective. I don't know, this is what I read up on. So that's how I'm putting together my workout at the moment. And yeah, chocolate coconut, definitely my favorite really like nice like proper coconutty flavour I've actually started using desiccated coconut because um, I find it hard if I'm being like clean eating and you know like being good and just eating kind of as much unpressed processed foods as possible I find that um, our house we're a very low fat house so I find it hard to hit my fats and fats are essential for your hormones they're essential to burn fat so I have found that in the evening, if I've got pots left over, I've been sprinkling desiccated coconut on my evening kind of concoction. Because at the end of the day, anytime I've got like macros left over, I usually come up with some kind of concoction to hit my macros. Lex so I was like, what are you eating? I was like, mm. last night it was simple enough. I just had 200 grams of strawberries with 100 grams of quark and some of the, um, protein dessert from my protein it's really nice the salted caramel mixed with quark and if it's too thick I just add a bit of water and then just sprinkle the desiccated coconut on top and it was so good and we are watching on Netflix at the moment our series is um, from dusk till dawn so obviously you would have seen the Quentin Tarantino movie from dusk till dawn if you haven't go and watch it um, but now we are watching the series and it's really good it's like all like vampires and snakes and yeah it's good it's good and like it's the the baddies in it are kind of likeable so and I'm someone who grew up loving Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Charmed and all those kind of programs so yeah and even now I love uh, Vampire Diaries which I have to download from online because um, they are severely behind on Netflix so uh, yeah workout done to be honest spent the last set thinking what am I going to eat when I get home 
because I have my pre-workout bagel so it's lunch time for me now so I'm thinking of having some of them you know the chicken hex sausages you've probably seen me buying them for and um, they're really good macros so I might have three of them and some of the protein pouch mash and some ketchup so bangers and mash for lunch and um, Lex is taking a rest day today his granddad pop up is in hospital at the moment because he's 96 96 so we don't really know when we were away he got ill and was taken into hospital and they weren't really sure they still aren't really sure what's wrong with him and um, think maybe we, we think maybe he's had a little bit of a stroke but he's recovering really quickly considering he's 96 and my granny is um, going to be what age is my nana she's going to be 95 this year yeah she's going to be 95 um, in a couple of weeks time and she's still going strong too we call her Lazarus because they've been called into the hospital so many times saying that she's dying and now there's not a loss on her. My mum put up a picture of her out sunning herself. Uh, she is in a nursing home because she needs full time care but um, my mum and my aunt and my uncle all live close by so they all call in and see her. So my nana, happy birthday nana. Um, early happy birthday. And I'm going to go home now, Lex and all with the doggies. The doggies, it is quite warm in England right now. Nothing like it is in Texas for Christian and Nikki, but it's like for us today, it's like 29 degrees, which is really warm. So the dogs don't know what's going on. They're just lying around looking like they're dead, panting. Um, so even when we bring them on their walk, usually they'll go round and round and round the field like five or six times, but they just can't handle it. And I just bring a, I bring a shaker full of water for them. So there are like troughs for um, the sheep to drink water out of, but I don't like them drinking out of it because I'm afraid they get sick or something or get like a parasite. So um, yeah, I've been bringing like a little shaker full of water for them and a little bowl. Uh, but yeah, it is taking a lot out of them. Um, Lex thinks, has accused me of getting Roxy too fit because she used to just go on her walk and come back and be wrecked. Now she's going on her walk and Lex will come home from the gym and she thinks, oh yeah, I'm going on my walk again. And you're like, eh, no. So he's like, you've made her too fit. So yeah, we've got a super fit doggy. She always gets fit in the summer and then in the winter when she doesn't get walked as much because it's miserable. She um, yeah, loses her athleticism. <laughs> Bailey isn't quite so fit. She just kind of toddles on behind me. But I'm going to go home now. Um, probably upload the video watch previous to this, get that edited and up and should I have a shower before I eat? Oh, decisions, decisions. Um, my flipping iPod only lasts for half my workout. I kept the headphones on because it keeps people from talking to me and disturbing me in the gym. Does anyone else do that? Your iPod dies and you just leave the headphones on. So people see the headphones coming off and it's like an invitation. Oh, come and ask me about my training. I don't like to be disturbed. Although I was just thinking, Lex is very lucky to have Mikey as a training partner because he has pretty much a training partner, built-in photographer, videographer. And uh, Mikey's great, he's a really nice guy. I really like him, but I'm thinking I'm gonna have to find myself a Mikey um, just for filming because it kind of made me forget to drink my water, trying to get different angles for you guys. and. Um, Anyway, maybe I'll find a friend soon.